my gilded brethren what's going on I'm bringing you this uh, colorful drop shadow tutorial as you can see self-explanatory hold on I had a malfunction before I started this video and the best one is gone but the, you, you notice how the drop shadow was just colored it's colored it's textured it has a lot going on with it but this is the effect I'll be showing you all and you could do it with the black too but eh, uh, depends on your taste I don't really like it but it's also possible to do it with black too so I'll be showing you that too but this is the the simplest one the the white and you, these are the only two colors you can do it on white and uh, black you can do it on a different color too but it'll be real complex you know I might bring you that one next this is just the beginning stages right here so let's go to uh, whoops let's go to new I don't want to get into the advanced stage right now not right now let's keep it quick and simple go to new get your type tool depending on your background make it white or black make it white I'm typing in Gilded app five is always. And what you need to do is double click on the text layer. Go down here to drop shadow. Wowzow. And you can mess with it to your liking. Turn that up a little bit. And what I'm gonna do now is hit Control T with the type layer selected to in to enlarge the uh, the type. I think that's big enough. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Alrighty. There we go. Alright. Now. First things first. Go up to File. And hit Place. And just grab any random texture that you have. Any random texture is cool. Oh man. I gotta take a phone call really quick. You know, usually I don't answer the phone call the phone but I don't have the number saved on my phone but I had to it was nothing nothing important alright let me find a texture sorry about that let me find a really quick texture I think this is cool uh -huh. just some clouds make a nice effect stretch that out and what you want to do now is go in here Go to screen. Look, drop shadow is on a whole nother level now. You can't really tell right now, but mess around with the settings and you'll have your little work of art. Look, looks mysterious, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Check that out. Ugh. I love it. I love it. Now now let me show you how to do it on a black background. Really, I'm just gonna change this background to black. It's real simple. Instead of going uh, to screen, you're going to. Uh, whoops. Instead of going to screen, you're gonna go to multiply. I'm gonna show you right now. You're gonna go to multiply, and you're going to go to. You gotta change the color of the back of the drop shadow. Change the drop shadows uh, blend mode from multiply to normal, and then change the color to white. Wazow, wazami. You know I like making up words just out the blue. All right, don't don't mind me. There we go. Now that looks very mysterious. You can barely read what it even says <laughs> that's why I prefer the white to black just because you, you can barely see it with the white you can you can make you you can read it on white but black you know you gotta squint you gotta try and look look the screen is flat but I'm trying to look around it like like it's in 3d but hey I have uh, if you want to try CX CS6 out I got a download link in the description 
comment, subscribe, tell your friends, post your work. I'd love to see it. Any questions, email me, leave a comment. But hey, thank you all so much for watching. Have a happy YouTube and day. Take care.